This is the celebration of the life of Eddie Backus. Hi, I'm Gabe Pollock, and welcome to Live at the Bop Stop. Hammond B3 master Eddie Backus Sr. was a mentor to countless Cleveland jazz musicians. He recorded an LP with Rasan Roland Kirk back in 1962 entitled Feel Real on Smash Records. His other recording is a session done with Joe Lovano in the mid-1980s entitled Hometown Sessions. Eddie Backus Sr. was the bedrock of the Cleveland jazz scene, and his influence on fans and musicians alike has been invaluable. Eddie Backus Sr. passed away on January 23rd, 2022, and his friends and fellow musicians gathered to spend an evening celebrating his life and legacy. Here's part two of that celebration, live at the Bop Stop. Put your hands together for Mike Katie. I'd like to say good evening to everyone and welcome to this fantastic memorial for a very good friend of mine that I feel like I'm still a baby playing under Mr. Eddie Backus Sr. I first met Eddie, and this is no joke, when I dropped out of school. And he was playing at the Kinsman Grill. <laughs> Who all that remember that place on Kinsman? That's where I first met Eddie. He was playing with Lester Sites at the time. And both of them knew my dad, which was a musician also. He played with a lot of organ players just like I have. But Eddie was a challenge. I'm 17 and he had the most remarkable speed. And I do mean speed. To keep up with. And I'm looking at Lester and I'm saying, can I do this? If not, I need to turn back around and go out to club. But Drumming was in my blood, and when I heard Eddie, and it was a jam session, I said, I'm gonna go up and play. I'm gonna get my energy's worth. Cause I did. I think I lost about 25 or 30 pounds <laughs> after playing with Eddie. And it was the most remarkable energy you could ever feel. You could ever feel. Whether if you're coming in the door or going out, you can feel that energy, that rhythm. And it's unforgivable. So I just wanted you to know that I'm thankful, I'm blessed to be in the presence of playing with a most incredible energy, energetic type of man that ever played that Hammond organ. So I just wanted to let that be known this evening. I didn't mean to take up too much time. I know there's, this is a program, but I'm just thankful to have that opportunity. Thank you. Put your hands together for Mike Katie. Come on, one more time. Give yourselves a round of applause, huh? 
All you jazzy blues lovers out there. Eddie Beckers. Uh, he was the father that I never had. I've been in Cleveland now 23 years. You all know I'm from Detroit. I had the likes of Grant Green and Kenny Burrell, and it goes on, Marcus Belgrades. And I did not know where I was going to find my music when I got here to Cleveland, Ohio. I first started with the Spirit Plus Band, and you know, you'll never find a lady love every week. I couldn't take it no more. I, I said, look, you know, I got to. So Carrie Jo Hollins, this is a true story, said, you need to go to the native son. Well, all the cats down there, I know what they're going to do to you when you get there. I said, Carrie Jo, hold on. I said, where is this at? He says, 154 in Kinsman. Friday night. So when you go down there, I'm going to see what you know then. I was coming down the street. I was like Jimmy the Cricket. I was clapping. And I hear Marvin Cabell and all the cats playing. Eddie Backus, Greg Bandit, Kenny Allen, you know, Perry Williams, Cecil. I mean, everybody just jamming. I says, look at here. Wow, I done found my, I done found my stuff. I walked in the door and they was having a jam session. And I asked them, I said, do you all let anybody sit in? They said, this is a jam session, man. Sign the paper and you be up when we call it. I said, what do y'all know? Eddie back and started laughing. He said, what'd you say, young blood? What'd you say? I said, what do you all know? He says, what do you know? I said, do you know this tune? Do you know it? He said, yeah, we know all that. True story. To this day, that's, that's how I came to this town. That's, that's the story, I'm not, and I've been with them ever since. All of you, all, that, all my musical family from Cleveland that I have played with and done things with, I love you all. And Eddie, my God, I can't say enough. But that's enough of that, but we're gonna do this here. We're gonna open this up like this here. A classic for you. Yeah. memories Wondering why the things we see have such distant reverie Have we met sometime somewhere in life's gigantic show Have we both fulfilled the parts in plays of long ago The tickets are sold Rehearsals are done This could be fun, the show has begun. Taking on a brand new part and studying the role. Make it change her characters to new things that might unfold. Looking for a new approach to help us to display. Or in a depth and beauty to the parts that we have to play. The tickets are sold. Rehearsals are done. The curtain pull back. The viewers will act. Now this to be fun. The show has begun. Run, 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 run,
the road we play while searching for the whole world. Oh, that will bring us happiness when acting days are done. The tickets are so hard. Rehearsals at the hub. The curtain pulls back. The viewer new act. Now this could be fun. The show had to go. Now this could be fun The show has begun Now this could be fun The show has begun Now this could be fun The show has begun The show has begun. <laughs> Give this band a round of applause, huh? Yeah. Wow. I had to do it. I wet my whistle on that one. But look here, if you got a drink, I'm sorry. That's rude of me, that's very rude of me. But here, see everybody's got, got a drink in there, and this is a toast to all of you all in the house. Everybody, if you raise it, yeah, here, this song I'm about to do, and uh, it's a classic, and I want you all to kind of float with me on this one. And it's for all of us in the house here, and I'm gonna do this too for you, hope you like it. No complaints and no regrets. I still believe they're chasing dreams and placing bets. But I have learned that all you get is all you get. So you give it all you got. Had my share, I drank my fill, and even though I'm satisfied, I'm hungry still to see what's down another road beyond the hill and do it. All the gang So here's to life And if it's joy that it brings Here to lie for dreamers and their dreams funny how the time just flies a love can go from warm hellos to sad goodbyes and leave you with a memory you memorize 
keep you winter's warm But there's no yes in yesterdays And who knows what tomorrow brings takes away as long as I'm still in the game ha, I wanna play for laughs for life for love so here's to life Every joy that it brings is to lie. For dreamers and their dreams. Storms be weather, and all that's good gets better. Here's to lie, here's to love. It is to you. Thank you. You all are so kind. Screaming next to Opie, who was beaming, Mom was thumping, son getting walked but and then they got into something. Bias played a mean sex, Mr. Max wrote the a mean ex, Mom was thumping, son getting walked but and then they got into something. Every hip stud really dug but when he hit town, taking those notes, the fight he broke. Dizzy had a hip thing, mom was dumping, sucking, walk Mike, and then the joint started jumping. I never saw the sun shining so bright, never saw things going so right. Looking at the days that's hurrying by, when you in love, my hot times flies. Opie, pull a mean string, down and Dizzy had a hip thing, mom was dumping. Sun in walk day, and then the joint started jumping. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Today, Thomas, ladies and gentlemen, show some love.
Katie, <laughs> Mr. Mike Katie. Thank you, thank you very much. Right I'm going to turn it back over to David, Ron Davis here, ladies thank and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Give him, give him right. a round of applause, Mike Katie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Now keep those hands rolling right along for Miss Shirley Cook. Come on. You can do better than that. Come on. Shirley Cook's coming on stage. Sister Shirley is a good friend of all of ours as well. Another good friend who's here tonight. And I want to point it out because it's the venue where this lovely photo is of Eddie Backus right here at the Beachland Ballroom. It's not just Gabe Pollock, who we love. Give a round of applause again to Gabe Pollock, who's keeping the bop stop where it needs to be during the plague, but also Sister Cindy Barber is here, who has hosted a lot of bands, including Eddie, including a lot of things at the Union. Thank you for being here, Cindy. It's Cindy Barber from the Beachland Ballroom as well. We all need each other to keep each other going, right? I can't stand it. Once again, Ed Ridley on the piano. David Thomas on the organ. And downstage center is Miss Shirley Cook. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, can I tell my little story? I um, met Eddie Backus at Razel on 83rd and Quince. I wanted to start singing the music and I wanted to learn. But I didn't know any keys, I didn't know anything. But um, thanks to Eddie, you know, I said, I want to do this song. But if you go and raise hell, if you can't do something, the girls are going to get you out of there. Because that's the type of joint it was. And I'm so happy I had those experiences with him. Actually, I was with Eddie back as, at his last minute, up to the last minute. and. Uh, he has become a very, very, a wonderful friend of mine. And so today I'm a little, you know, but I, I know that if it was me, he would be here playing. So, and all of the musicians for that matter. So I'm gonna do, um, out of nowhere, we're gonna swing it. to me from out of nowhere you took my heart and set it free wonderful dreams wonderful schemes from nowhere you made every hour sweet as a flower for me Ooh, if you should go Turn out of nowhere
turn out of nowhere You made every hour sweet as a flower for me If you should go back to your nowhere Leaving me with, leaving me with this memory baby For your return out of nowhere Hoping, hoping you bring your love to me Come on somebody Come on, put your hands together. Come on, David. Come on now. so much. This was one of his favorite tunes. You know, him and I, and a lot of the musicians, Billy Artis, Mike Cady, all of us, Vanessa, went through this pandemic with him. 
he wanted to get out and sing, I mean, play so badly. Uh, I told him about this this evening. He told me, he said, he called me from the other room and he said, uh, Shirley, I said, what? Well, here we go. <laughs> he said, I want you to make a phone call for me. He wanted to be here. He said to Joe Lovano, he said, tell Joe I ain't gonna make it. I wouldn't call Joe. I would not call him because I was hoping, because I did everything that I knew to do for him to try to get his strength up so that he could be here. So he did make that holler out and he also talked with Ron Davis. All of these cats stay. I'm green. I'm, I mean, I'm the I'm the green one. I'm the I'm the one that Dave Thomas looked at once and said, "You lazy singer." <laughs> I said, "Oh, okay." You remember that, David? And I said, "Oh, I should never sing because I like balance, you know." So anyhow, Eddie always. I said nobody could help me besides Eddie and, and Dave, the Davids and the Ace Carters and the Weasel Parkers and the Lawrence Jacktown Jacksons. You know, all of these cats. When I started out, that was uh, wonderful. I know I had to learn all of my songs uh, myself. I wasn't a music major or anything, but I love the music. So I'm very happy and honored to be here this evening. Thank you to the union. I'd like to say thank you very much. Yes, thank you. This is a beautiful song. Okay, I'm done. Uh, this is Eddie's favorite song. Sorry, everybody, I just got a little caught up. Gee. Okay. Eddie just came to me and said, would you sing the song, please? It's not the pebble. Excites me that thrills and delights me. Oh, no, no, it's just the nearness of you. That your sweet conversation that brings this sensation. Oh no, no, it's just the ninnies of you. I feel you so close to me. All my wild days, my wildest dreams may come true. I need 
windows of lights to enchant me. If you, if you will, only grant me the right, the right to hold you ever so tight and to feel in the Surely come. It's like I have my own little story with Eddie. Uh, when I first started, I went down to Ray Zell's and I was sitting there, and a friend of mine, Maceo, went up to the audience and went up to Eddie and said, Oh, this guy just came in from LA. Call him up. I went up there, I only knew one song. So when Eddie says, uh, What you singing? I'm like, Every day I have the blues. What's the key? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Wrong answer. Eddie said real loud, you don't know your key, huh? I'm like, oh, man, that was so embarrassing. But then I left. I stayed away from Ray Zell's for about 30 days and learned at least 20 songs. 
The next time I came back up there, oh, I had my chest out then. I'm like, uh, he says, what you sing? I'm like, every day I have the blues, and I want it in this temple, and the key is E. He said, E. I'm like, OK, all right, just give me a key then. And he did. And from that point on, that's like some 30, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. More like 40. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> All right, all right. I tried to dress it up a little bit. That's cool. Four years ago. Man. And uh, been rolling with Ed, Eddie ever since, man. So I like to do every day I have the blues. Here we go. What key? What key? <laughs> Security put him out. <laughs> Let's swing it, man. You can clap your hands and help me out with this one. Come on. Say so every day, every day, uh, say so every day I have the blues. Say so every day, every day, uh, every day I have the blues. Uh, when you see me worry, baby, uh, it's you. Nobody seems to care Nobody loves me Nobody seems to care Seems like bad luck and trouble You know I've had my share So every day, every day, every day, every day, every day I have the blues Every day, every dog on day
say every day, every day. Uh, say every day I have the blues. Uh, every day, every dog on day. Uh, every day I have the blues. But uh, when you see me worry, baby, uh, it's you I hate to lose. Rock me, baby. Rock me, pretty baby. Rock me all night long. I want you to rock me, baby. Do my back ain't got no. Do my back ain't got no. Oh. Thank you. We love you, Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. We love you, man. Keep your hands together for Mr. Billy Artis. He's coming back up to do something. Come on, Billy. So are you having a good time, Chris Coles? Come on, man. Come on, you got your horn. How y'all doing? I'm holding back all my tears in these last not 30 days, 20 days, I lost three close, close, like family people. And this Eddie Senior has hit me really hard because how I met Eddie Senior is through Eddie Jr. I'm in high school, me and, uh, who was this? This was me and Lafayette Carthon at Shaw High School Talent Show. And Shaw, so, Eddie, uh, so Lafayette pulls me to the side like, man, you know, hey man, uh, we might have won this thing, but we, I just heard that. Eddie Back is junior and seniors on the show. I'm like, who is that? They're like, you don't know who Eddie? I said, no, I don't know. Cause I'm a church boy, so I didn't get chance, even though Ray Zell was right up the street from my house, I didn't get chance to go to Ray Zell's. I had to go to church every day, all day. <laughs> and I was too young, yeah. Yeah, that was in the 40, 40 years ago. I wasn't, yeah. He said, if it was still 30, I was like, <laughs> But we was at Shaw High School talent show and Eddie Backus Sr. and Junior came out, and I want to say they played just the two of us, and they, they killed it. And we sat there like, oh my God. And we came up there playing some print stuff, and it was just out the way. And they just booed us off the stage. And it was just terrible. I'd be like, oh man, we should just stuck with the jazz. I said, yeah, we should just stuck with the jazz thing we do. And that was my introduction to Eddie. And Eddie Jr. Uh, started hanging over, I was going to the School of Arts, started coming over to the School of Arts. And we start collaborating, and then I got a chance, me and my brother got a chance to go over to his house and get to see the great Eddie Beckett Sr. And just sitting there talking to him and learning the music. A lot of people don't know this, I don't share this, um, but I'm gonna share it tonight. The reason why I do what I do is because of Eddie Beckett Sr. Uh, why you hear about Hub's Groove? This is, here, here's what I figured out. I looked at Eddie, um, this is probably about 20 years ago, we had his house. And I had to come, yeah, it's about, no, maybe a little less, because we had to bring a Leslie speaker over here. Because so I went to his house to pick up a Leslie speaker, I had a truck, so maybe 15 years ago, um, to one of the bop stops. I had to bring an organ Leslie speaker, I had to pick it up in my truck, and he helped me. And I was like, yeah, he came out there, he was like this. I'm like, what you doing, Pops? He's like, I got it, we gonna, we're gonna get this on this truck. Lift it up, he helped me lift it up, we put it on the truck. And it hit me though, I said, I looked at him, I said, he's still doing what he loves to do. He owns his house. Oh, I didn't know about two, I just knew about the one. And he's living on his name, his name. And I said, okay, I can be great, I can go travel the whole wide world. And then when they get tired and playing behind people, this is what musicians please understand the way I think. I kind of think a little different. And while you don't see me working around with a lot of other people, I wanted to create my own little name. Because I said, as long as I got my own name, I can work. Because Eddie Backen Sr. is working every time I see him. And he's 80-something years old. He was still working, performing, taking care of his wife before she passed. Making a living, doing what he loved to do. And that inspired me to, like, okay, it's great to be playing behind this artist. And I had sure I said, but I need to make my own name. I might not be the best. But I'm good enough, people love to come hear me play. And I saw him do it, 
I said, my wife always asks me, so when do you retire? I said, musicians don't retire, we just die. We just die. You know what I'm saying? We just, and Pops really just blessed me. Uh, I just found out he was sick just a couple of days ago talking to that little Eddie, and he said, yeah, Pops ain't doing it. I said, yeah, go there. I said, okay, we gotta get one more in. I didn't know he was that sick, though. And uh, got the news, Pat, Harris called me out, and I went on social media today, and she just told me he had passed. I was like, well, I was just getting out of church. I said, why? I said, Lord Jesus. So I called Eddie. Eddie told me to tell Mr. Joe Lovano, thank you. He loves you. He's sorry he can't be here, but he, he wanted just to say thank you. That's what Junior told me today. He cried. People don't know me and Eddie. Eddie's my brother. Eddie got his horn stolen. Me and Rodney and Eddie on the phone crying like babies, little big Babies, oh, man, where your horse at? Man? I don't know. I don't, you know, that's how me and Eddie's relationship was. You know, and Eddie Junior's relationship is, and uh, he just wanted me to let you know that. That's all I had to say, though. That guy has changed my life. I was honored to play with him. I honored to learn from this man here. A lot of cats don't know how bad this man is. He's a bad boy. He's one of the Cleveland secrets, Perry. So I got to give it up to him. We gonna play some music. I think I talked enough. All right. All right, come on up, uh, Chris Coles. Yes. Come on, give it up. You need a bass player? Alfredo?
the celebration of the life of Eddie Backus. There will never be another Eddie, that's for sure. Chris Cole's on the alto saxophone. Billy Artis on the guitar. Ed Ridley on the piano. David Thomas playing the organ. George Lee is up there, isn't he? And so is Mr. Hubbard. Yes, they are. I just want to say again, this is for Eddie. And um, everybody talked about how Eddie was a musical mentor. And um, again, as president of the union, of the musicians union, what Eddie taught me, in addition to music, is, is lessons in patience, lessons in humility, and in lessons in how to carry yourself in dignity, regardless of any of the challenges that you all may face in life. I, I, I love and honor Eddie Backus. He loved musicians, and we all love him in return. Give a round to these people, and I'm passing the mic for one more story. Okay, I got the word, I gotta keep my story short. Okay, so I think that the last gig that Eddie did was with me and Gary down at uh, Scheiben Jewelers. I do their Christmas party every year, and uh, I have found over, the, I mean, I'm George Day, I'm a bass player, obviously, and, uh, well, hopefully, and uh, I found the only way to play, the only way to play different music is to play with different people, because you can tell, you can ask people, you like country, oh yeah, you like blues, oh yeah, you like jazz, oh yeah, you like folk, oh yeah. But when you get on the gig, they do what they do, which is cool. But I like all kinds of music, so I play with all kinds of different people. So on this gig, it was three nights, they had a, their business party, three nights, and I said, I'm gonna use it, it was me and Gary, and I said, well, I'm gonna have a different trio each night. So the third night, I had Joey Scoach come down and play. That was cool. The second night, I had Reed Simon, the violinist, come down. He plays classical and he plays jazz, so it was a violin trio. It was great. But the first night, it was me, Gary, and Eddie. Gary said, oh man, bring Eddie down. I said, we'll take care of him. And they built the stage behind the showcases in the, in the, the jewelry cases. And so we would get him on either side of him, bring him up, and once we sit him down at the piano, it was cool. And I would ask him, you know this? He said, no. I said, well, look, you just play whatever you want. And that's what we did for four hours. And it was great. It was great. And that was just like the first week in December. Uh, it, it was great. So uh, Eddie was a good guy. Eddie was a good guy. Absolutely. Can we, uh, we're having a photo opportunity here, but we're gonna bring some, another special guest up right now. Would you please, is Navasha coming up right now? Yeah, it's my little sister right here. Would you just, you know, Eddie loved fashion. I never saw him unless he was impeccably dressed. So it's very appropriate that we have you, young lady, right here. Would you please welcome Navasha? Yeah. Greetings, everyone. My name is Navasha Dea, Cleveland native. I went to School of the Arts with his well, all of us were there, because it's like fourth grade to 12. But Rodney, I think he was a year older than me, so that's your younger brother, the baby brother. Ronald. Oh, no, Ronald. I'm sorry, I'm getting everybody, all the R's. So, um, yeah, Ronald, he was a year ahead of me. And I'm just gonna sing, I just wanted to honor this space. Cindy said, don't you wanna sing? And I said, I, I, you know, okay, I can sing. So, it's a tribute, it's a song I wrote, lyrics to um, Footprints, in honor of Billie Holiday. Original kids, fine, yeah. I live in Baltimore, Maryland now, bye. There once lived a woman who sang jazz and blues this way. She wore a flower in her hair and we loved her. She was named Lady Day. She was unique and fine. She grooved all the time. Billy's footprints. Unique and fine, she grooved all the time. Billy's footprints, she knew the blues, and she sang it very well. Her voice touches your soul with 
with every note she's saying. Billy, Miss Holiday, Billy's footprints. And I also work, um, play with Eddie Backus Jr. We were little teenagers singing around town with show wagon and stuff and school of the arts. So I'm just so honored. Thank you so much. Come on, let's give it one more round of applause. You can do better than that. Well, we hope you've all had a great time tonight. Did you have a good time? Did we honor Mr. Eddie Backus for you? Music was pumping. I want to thank all the musicians that came out and to participate, especially Joe Labana. He came in town specifically for this. Give him a round of applause, too. 
along with Ernie Crypto. Thank you. Live at the Bob Stop is made possible by the Music Settlement, serving Northeast Ohio by offering music instruction, music therapy, and early childhood education since 1912, with a mission to welcome all to our music and arts community to learn, create, inspire, and heal. This program is recorded at the Robert Conrad Studios at the Bob Stop in Cleveland, Ohio, with additional production by Graham Rosen. Editing for WOBC and WNPA is provided by Dr. Pete Nagley and for our podcasts and other radio affiliates by Sean Gilbert and Carson Gilbert at Gilazar Media. The executive producer is Daniel Peck. For extended versions of all of our shows, our Live at the Bob Stop podcast can be found on your favorite podcast app or visit our website at www.thebobstop.org. To reach out directly, email live at thebobstop at gmail.com. I'm Gabe Pollock. Join me again next time, live at the Bob Stop.